Meow. Meow. So simple cat eyes. And I like to kind of feel things out before I commit pencil to paper. I'm aiming for quick, flicky gesture lines here. I'm liking these. I think these are going to be like Siamese eyes. I like those, but I'm going to try another set here. Because I think I can get the shape better. Really feeling things out. I like that. And I like to come in from the top on the second eye. It works better for me. You need to find what works for you. I like those. And it looks kind of like the cat is sort of turned a bit to one side because one eye is bigger than the other. And I didn't really super intend to do that. Um, it just kind of happened. And I'll add a few details here, just a little bit. Less is more. You are welcome to check out our cat drawing art workshop on Facebook. We'd love to have you as a member if you truly are passionate about drawing cats. So you will find the link for that group and some other handy cat drawing links in the video description below. I like that. I really like that actually. And we'll move those ones up top and and now we're going to do some different cat eyes. We're going to aim for kind of the sneaky, angry, grumpy, whatever you want to call it, eyes. And I'm kind of conveying that by changing the swoop of the top line. You can really change the emotion you convey by by just changing the line slightly. Yeah, again, and my pupils aren't exactly the same. Don't ever aim to make your each eye exactly the same as the other because it's not the way it is and, and the differences add the character. So I'm going to do some sleepy eyes here now. I don't really like that second line, so I think I'll, I'll try again, feeling it out. That'll work. The look of cats' faces changes so much with the perspective. If they're turned a little bit to the side, if they're facing down, um, if they're laying down and one side of their face is scrunched up. So just let it happen and work with it. I like that. Just going to strengthen up some of the lines I like because I do have some extra lines and it'll help those kind of disappear into the background as tone when I strengthen up the lines I do like. And the next frame. Kitty was going to sleep and now what's happening in the next frame? I like those lines. So Kitty's falling asleep now. And let's do some round eyes. And round eyes can be surprised eyes or different certain types of cats have have round eyes. Some have the narrow slits like Siamese and some have the big round eyes and there's everything in between. And this could be also surprised or an impending attack of the zoomies playful and when I really want the, to have buggy standout eyes I, I like to really darken up the edges like this really accentuate them I 
The line on this one isn't quite as smooth, but that's okay. The work in progress. And some pupils. And I want big, wide pupils to convey that surprised look. I like it, but let's try another set. My pencil is more controlled in these two drawings here. Not quite as quick and flicky. And you got to use what works for you. And sometimes one might work and sometimes the other might work. So, you know, just find your own voice as an artist. And we'll go for the little slits, like when the cat's in bright light. Make each set of eyes a little different. Do subscribe to our channel. We love new subscribers. They help make the channel tick. And we'd be happy to have you help us build the community. I'm just going to refine some of these eyes now. And it gives you a chance to see if you like the eyes I drew before or after better. Because sometimes you can carry it too far. And the only way you find out is to do it. And you don't necessarily need highlights in the eyes. So I'll do one of each and, you know, it all depends on your style and your individual drawing. I like those top ones. This one I'm going to put highlights in too. And I have sped this part up. I don't normally draw this fast. <laughs> And the tops of the eyes under the top eyelid is very is shaded. It's in shade and you can add some depth by adding that shade in. So we'll add it in this one too. Just really light in this one because the cat is out in bright light obviously so dark shading wouldn't be suited. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.